Defendant lobby number two. Uh, Mr. Wright? Uh, what? Are trials always like this with you? Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake about to reach the surface? But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there? Pretty much. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. So, uh, what happened to your sister anyway? But, uh, apparently she got called off to the judge's chambers. Hmm. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So this is where we turn the trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant to tell the truth. Hola, partner. Partner, partner. You shut up, foe. Why'd you make noises? Then do that again. <laughs> oh boy, forgot about cowboy. They say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a youngin, at least. Officer Marshall! Thought I'd come take a look, see how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. They've got the home ranch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. That hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there, anyway? At all the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. Haven't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Uh, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. Don't say. Now don't that just beat all. I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. All that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the award ceremony that afternoon. Edgeworth seen it too, I'd reckon. What's that mean? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So, Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. Sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. I have a bad feeling about this. So what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Who we? Who we? God damn. Oh god, we're back in the courtroom. I'd like to resume. I thought I was gonna go get to gather evidence. Oh no, the episode conventions are all off. Shit. What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Whoa. Something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused. You're doubled over, your back's bent. It can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth? Well then, I believe it is time we continued on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is unacceptable. Hmm, it seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Ah, uh, er, excuse me, knock knock? Who this? Huh? Who's there? What the fuck? That's a lot. What's with this guy? A strange, stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. <laughs> hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. That's a lot of degrees. Who on earth is he? 
got his own theme music. Ah, it's you. Uh, can we hear something? Why are you just... <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Aji. Uh, the roads were packed. <laughs> it's just me. Long time no see, Aji. How you been? So much these days? Ah, hello, hello. Uh, no, I've been so busy. <laughs> busy, smizzy, Aji. Boy, you have to make time to relax. Yes, indeed. Aji? Seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. I'm very afraid. I'm sorry, but who are you? <laughs> so you're right, oh, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Eh, I... Th thanks? So sorry about a little worthy giving you all that travel, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. But... Little... Worthy? Mr. Rat, you don't know the district chief of police? <laughs> I can't say I do. Chief of police? He's the top ranking police officer in the entire district. He has a clam beard. My name's Gant. Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. Need to cough. Coughed. So, uh, what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? <laughs> well, it's worthy here. Look at that poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that's my sister's muffler. Though Miss Starr wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But to think it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. A uh, little worthy's car, no less. What is that? It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Edgy? Chief. What kind of outfit are you running? Mr. Edgeworth. How could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? <laughs> now wait a minute, Worthy. I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or... Didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document, where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature is there. Miles Edgeworth. That's not fair. On the day of the crime, I had... You're heading the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> the court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the, 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 the blah blah blah. I'd like to learn how to speak. I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. But uh, yeah? Just to be sure. I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. The blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yeah, well, I think all you have to do is push that switch, and... I cut my finger, Mr. Rat, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at people anymore. Well, you could. It just... You have a potential chance of giving them hepatitis. Come on, just hurry up and open it. It's doing it all by itself. There's a small tag on this knife. It seems to say SL92. What does that mean? Well, I've heard something similar. 
DL6 of the DL6 incident fame. But it's strange. Huh? What is? I'm not certain, but I get the feeling I've seen this somewhere before. Letters like this, or letters that looked a lot like this, somehow. Just point it directly at your eye, and pull the switch. Anything else? Nope, just a knife. Push button. Oh, it's broken. That's some old blood. Ah, don't scare me like that. I'm the one who's scared. Look at this blade. The tip's broken off. Miss Stain. Blood. Switchblade knife added to the court record. This does not excuse the actions of the, actions of the police department. Hold on, Edgeworth. I need to uh, actually look at it out of its bin. Whatever, because apparently that matters. Oh, I can look at this again. Small tag. Okay. Now I've done my part. I would like to hear an explanation from the Chief of Police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us? About the split between the prosecutors and the police, and this knife. Sure thing, not a problem. Not even a little one, really. Department in disorder? Scandal! This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. The detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. Time of the crime, fine 15, scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this case here, so I can't talk much about it. Another detective was killed? There... there was a murder at the police department? A detective. That's hush-hush information, Aji. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Wait a second. You said 515. That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Order. Anyway, we the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, alright? I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Rat, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. The chances of that are really slim, scientifically speaking, of course. Unless, you know, it's a setup. I'd like to exercise my right to cross examine the witness. Very well, however, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Excuse me, special? Mm hmm. Hard to come by this particular knife anywhere else. Uh, might that special thing be this little tag? <laughs> Sorry, Rido, but I can't say that right now. Not that, anyway. We've established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? That's quite a mystery. And like a mystery, it's wrapped in something. A muffler. Evidence to prove connection. This knife was found on the scene of our crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that go on at the department that I can't explain. It's, uh, delicate, okay? Sorry, right? Maybe there's something about the knife that'll give us a clue. Let's examine that knife while we can, right? Evidence that links this knife to Detective Goodman. I think maybe the pieces are falling into place. To try presenting the piece of evidence that's had me stumped all this time. So how were things down at the, down at the department? Police. Something happened at the police department too, huh? You got a good look in your eyes there, righto my boy? 
sharp hungry. So, something did happen? And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? No matter, I understand. You were busy, what with Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? Detective was killed. On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, Aji? I'm at a loss for words. Why are you so happy about it? And the perpetrator. Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested. That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Rido. I suppose I could help if you help me by giving me data on your case. Oh, good one. This kid's sharp. Okay. Here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Um... Where were they found or when they died? Where were they found? So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. But I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. The evidence room? You wouldn't know about the evidence room, would you, Rido? Can't say I've heard of it. I guess I should ask again once I learn a bit more about this evidence room. You've been in there before. You got tased in there before. There's something stranger about this than the place where the body was found. Time of the crime, 5.15. 5.15, but that's... That's when Detective Goodman was killed. What? Funny, isn't it? A murder at the prosecutor's place and a murder at our place at the very same time. What are the chances? Coincidence? This is just my gut feeling, but I'd say there's a 0.001% chance of that happening. Chief Camp, please tell us more about the incident. How can you say there's no connection? How? Because I'm the Chief of Police. I can't just say anything I please. You understand. Try to understand, right-ho. Well, if you can prove there is a connection, more power to you. Maybe there is something that ties the two murders together. Whatever it is, I better find it and get to the bottom of this. Two detectives were killed at 515. One at the prosecutor's office. And one at the police department. That cannot be a coincidence. And that knife. What was it doing there? Better check this knife out. Is there more to see? You know, it has an evidence room tag on it. Uh-huh. Bloodied. Broken. Give me something, a magnifying glass. Nothing. Alright. Parking lot floor plans. 675-12-2. Might be upside down. 221 SL9. Okay, that seems to be the case. Because if we look at it upside down, it's the same letters. How do I prove that? Why would you write it upside down? Two twenty-one SL nine. Is this currently the twenty-third? He's been dead a day. Yeah, checks out. Huh. 
I mean, it's the best I got, right? Wait a second. Last and honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? <laughs> and honest to goodness, what do you mean, Vermaji? This is great. Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Over here, we also have a, mo a memo that was on the bottom of the blah 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 a memo that was on the body of the victim. Hmm, what's this? 6 minus 7 is... 12, 2? Your Honor, it's upside down. Upside... The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? Aha! Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. I see on that. That's the same thing that's written on the knife's tag. Order. Ill Chief? Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> you win, Rido. I win? What game is this guy playing? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. So this knife was stolen? Yeah, but on the day of the murder... It was evidence, you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. It was evidence from a long... from a case long since solved. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. Hard to think there isn't a connection there. I don't know what to go off of. Detective was killed at the, at the department. Arrested a suspect. One thing only. Ah. Uh. Where were they found at the same place? Yeah, the evidence room. The evidence room, didn't he mention it in his testimony just now? There we go. There's the connection between the two cases. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. Not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. Chief? The defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. <laughs> you don't say. Well, out with it, Ryder. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place. Mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen. From the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had on him the case number on this knife's evidence tag. We also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. Indeed. There do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. Why do you stare at us for so long? You two make a good pair. Took my men two days to find out what you deduce right here. Chief, I request that you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet, no. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. What? Really? 
You would have guessed. I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? If you're going to tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Ah, well, case information, sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh, well. I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of them. Uh... ID number. Okay. How about you tell me the victim's ID number? Uh, sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name, after all. Keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... Uh-huh. 5842189. 5842... It's the same guy. Well, that's quite long. And we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. 5842189. I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right. Well, Mr. Rat, does this tell you anything? The ID number of the victim at the police department, 5842189. This tells me a lot. Actually, it does, Your Honor. I think. Meaning? Ask me what I think it is. What does this mean? Are there twin detectives? No. Let's hear what the defense has to say. You say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department. Tells you something, what does it tell you? Witness? What is it, Mr. Rat? You're grinning like a squirrel girl on prom night. Jesus, man. No, I, it's just, I got confused. And this is news? Just come out with both guns blazing, like you always do. Police department, the prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one at a time. At one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh, is it yours? Yes, I'm a secret policeman. No, your honor, I'm a defense attorney. This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Game on, you right. Personal IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 5842189. And? This means what exactly? Huh? Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier. That started with 82. Uh, I've forgotten. You didn't even get the first number right again. The number the chief of police gave us was 584. 2189. Wait a second, right. What's this? Mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? <laughs> sharp as attack, right? Sharp as attack. Wait, Detective Goodman's our victim. He was killed at 515 in the underground parking lot. Yet a Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department. In the evidence room at the exact same time. That's impossible. So what we're saying is... The same person was killed at the same time? That is actually kind of impossible and in a completely different location. Order. Chief, what does this mean? No. What I want to know is, why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Now just wait a second, where have you no need to get all flustered? Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said... Wait. Or didn't you hear me? The oversight. The grave error. Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. What? <laughs> How dare... 
We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our Officer Meekins who brought you the news. Officer Meekins? Mr. Wright, where have we heard that name before? Wait, ha. Huh. M. Excuse me, me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, uh, anywhere on the premises? Yes. I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief. Sir, sir, I've got your report, sir, sir. You don't mean him. According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said that report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman, murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. <laughs> Why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. He did seem... challenged. Hey. He's great. In any case, this is a serious error. A gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. But sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. And I... Stop staring at us. I mean, I get it. But rude. No such luck this time, Worthy. Or should I say unworthy? What? Now what was the second rule of evidence law, huh? Well, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, well, it's, uh... Rule 2, unregistered evidence present must be relevant to the case on trial. And how is this rule relevant? Normally, you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. Connection was just proven by Rido over here. Good job, Rido. Huh? Uh, I... I was just doing my job. No. No. It seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy. What with all those rumors? You were even in the, in the defendant's chair just this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened, if it's the last thing I do. You better get results this time, really. You have my profound apologies, sir. Or Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, your honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Farewell. Court's adjourned. To be continual. What?